Hello everybody and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. I was recording this a little while ago, um, but I took a half an hour nap because I was kind of tired. So if uh, you hear me yawn every once in a while, it's because I just took a nap. Uh, but we're going to record a half an hour episode today uh, because I don't want to record too much, especially when I'm tired. So it's, it, it's like 2.30 in the morning here and I got to stay up till like 2.30, 3 o'clock. So let's get straight to the recording then. Good evening, it's time for Monokuma's cooking class. Today we're gonna learn how to make takiyaki, or, or is that taiyaki? The first thing you'll need is a time machine. You will travel back to the time of the Meiji period and meet a person named Seizuro Kanbei. He used to, date, uh, used to bake and sell turtle shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, Get serious and insist, let's try making these pastries fish shaped because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he will happily bake his pastries into a shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you're finished making Taiyaki. To you by Monokuma. This concludes Monokuma's cooking clash. Class, not clash. I said clash by accident. It's class. Not shh, but sh. Good sure, buddy. Whatever. I'm worried about me coming to the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. You know, like I just said, okay. Yo. Yeah, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to the Nagato's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still... What do you mean? Don't lie, Hajime. He's our best friend. We feel bad for him hardcore. <laughs> but he's our best friend. I swear to God, if he fucking dies... Is this Nagato's room? Yeah, that's Nagato's room. If he fucking dies because it's just bare disease, that's gonna be another person who died right before I could max him out. I'm gonna be so butthurt. <laughs> Mikan, how's Nagito doing? Oh. Same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Oh. His, pa his pulse is extremely weak. It might slip into critical uh, condition sometime today. Is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Yes. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Hajime, it's about time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, I got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left to let Nagito's room. Okay, uh, where are we supposed to be going? Lobby. Okay. The incoming signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I press the button underneath the blinking light, and the monitoring monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making connection. See, soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. Kazuichi. What's up? Yeah, hello, how was it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're all good in our end, too. I can totally see your broke-ass face. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Nope, we're all here except for Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look a little abhorrent enemies in the eyes of that coward. Um... She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of this door that she wouldn't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even been cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're able to, they're, they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito's actually in serious danger. Mm. I already know he's da seriously dangerous. Well. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? 
But is he he is going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? First Nekamaro, then Nagito. This ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we can't, we really can't say. We really can't say? That's impossible. Monami, why are you on that side? Because it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital since I don't even know what's going on there. You really are pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! Part, please don't discriminate. That despair disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease can, that can even destroy the island. So until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. <coughs> Before I can respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko would cut the connection. That yeah, shitty stuffed animal, she's seriously pissing me off. Ugh, oh, damn it, I'm going outside to cool off. So he could practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. And just wait patiently until the situation improves and change for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times, and time just kept passing by. Ahem! It is please return now then! Okay. Damn it! Feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over, and now it's already night time. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this trans transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not gonna have a clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. Cool. I hope he's not dying. <coughs> I'm gonna feel really bad and really mad, really mad if he's fucking dying. Uh, Ibuki? Whoa, Ibuki? What are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored without doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would, if it would trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help you with anything. But it's better if I'm sleeping, correct? Yes, just get some rest for now. It'd be big help if you get better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Okay. Nagito! Come back to us, Trigger! Mikan. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed they entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I call her, she's not responding. Her back is turned towards me as she focuses on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and... Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah. Ah, looks like you finally noticed. Oh, please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. <coughs> what? Wet? Uh, did you come to check on Nagito? Yeah, I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired, too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, um I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Are you, by chance, worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. Yeah, I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard it'd be bad if I kept letting it getting in her way. That's exactly how it felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Okay, bye. Also, I want to see how Akana's doing. She seems like she might be dead or something. Yo. Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she has had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. Apparently, they're trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So both on our ends, it looks like we had no result. Jeez, oh, yeah, uh, let's look forward to tomorrow. I, please. With this best depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to the cottages. <sighs> My words have piled up so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it so much. And just like that, and not just that, first thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital. I kept telling myself that, uh, that as I sighed one last time, and slowly closed my eyes.
Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time, hazily, like watercolor paints suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. Huh? There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Ho's Peak Academy. But w was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the window. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises keep leaping to my ears. Huh? You don't know? Huh? Know what? Apparently, you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope Speak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run to the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that that, was, that way was possible. So he's the same too? <coughs> Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. He's... Just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... Just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this, anyway? What are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Shit. No! What's going on, Hajime? Don't pull this bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm feeling? Hajime's got like the coolest skills and that's why he was accepted and everyone just doesn't know. Maybe he had to keep it a secret. Like, uh, Ultimate Assassin. Cause you can't tell everybody you're an assassin. Ultimate Murderer because, <laughs> you know what? That'd be jokes. Uh, did you know that talking about personal failure is a good way to break the ice of meeting new people? So I'm gonna tell you a story of my personal failure. In the wild world where I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself, so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink, only those chosen by God can see it. Ooh, when I said that, he was all, the love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he really could read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as the divine message of God. And eventually he was worshipped by society. Wow. Now he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-minion millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, wanna buy the maze? It's in pretty big demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. No. Please. No. Hmm. It's morning, huh? <coughs> but for some reason, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. <coughs> How did you get in my room? Cyanosis again? Hajime's gone live. Oh, please get a hold of yourself. Ooh. Ah, he regained consciousness? Oh, I'm so glad. I thought you died from suffocation. M Mikan, why are you why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Uh, now that you mention it, I can't really wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. Well, what kind of accident is that? <coughs> but good news, you see, Nagito's condition is stabilized. Really? 
And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Oh, yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Anyway, please hurry over. Nagido can probably be saved. Yeah, I got it. I greatly got dressed and headed over to the ho hospital with Mika. Although, I did wonder why it was necessary for me to be pumped for someone like Nagito. Oh, well, best not to think about it. Oh, yeah, I threw it myself. Okay, fine. Nagito! I'm coming! Yo, bro! <coughs> there I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up on his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Hajime came by to see how you were doing. <coughs> he's spitting up, and his eyes look like he's gone crazy. The twin Ibukis are singing. I see, Ibuki must have been a twin duo. <coughs> the Veronicas! <coughs> Is he supposed to be cured? It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. They were utilizing their characteristics as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. Which means, there are actually 17 people on this island. The Veronicas! That's the answer! Uh, after seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a bit longer. I'm so glad! I'm so relieved Nagito regained consciousness! I'm so glad! <coughs> I feel dizzy! Somehow everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then, if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Then, even though it's morning, good night. <coughs> Mikan wobbled around a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable, I mean... She fell asleep while she, when she was supposed to wake me, come and wake me up. Man, all alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that creep, crappy disease of yours. <sighs> yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. <coughs> Does that mean he really doesn't want me to leave? Bad luck, word. Okay. Well, bye, Nagito. I'm out of here. Oh, what? Whoa, I didn't even read that. <coughs> Wait. I need to check the log! Fiu, he goes in here! Wait! The log! Transcript. The morning might have come down, should be starting, so I should wait at the lobby for transmission. Okay. Oh, the blink is lighting. The friends coming, you know, like, it blink is blinking. But that's weird, it's not transition time yet. <clears throat> if the light is blinking, it's receiving some sort of transmission from the other side, right? But that's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. So if so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. <coughs> I reached my hand and pressed the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. Slowly, uh, a slowly swaying dim light is shining on the black curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to begin. Is this light from a candle? Well, what's with the creepiest of all? What's creepiest of all was that the rope was hanging from the ceiling. At the end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it there was a step ladder. It was like a gallows. What is this? I didn't understand it at all. What's going on at the music venue? And that's when it happened. <coughs> The moment I saw silhouette, silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. <coughs> what? And began climbing the stepladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. They reached over the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment, Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black, probably because the candle, the only source of light, has gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other side of the monitor. 
What the heck is this? What's going on? Oh shit, what in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over the music venue. I rushed over to the hospital to ran over the music venue before the transmission was made. Oh shit. Ahem. Good morning. Now then. Okay. And just now, that was the morning announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I've got to get to the music venue. <coughs> oh, wait, wrong place. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, no. Please, please let me make it. I rushed into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. That sounded pretty lighthearted, Hajime. Ah, <clears throat> oh, shit. God damn it, that's Ibuki's hair. Those are Ubi Ibuki's nails. <coughs> and that's definitely Ibuki dead. Oh my god. <coughs> no way. I... Was too late? What the hell is this? The hot air inside the music venue. I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, now is not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Oh, the body discovery announcement. That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed it yet. Then I need to hurry and let the others know. We're near the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. I should hurry. <coughs> I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody! Get out of here! Oh no. <coughs> as soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Just from the talking. I was wondering who was making such infernal rackets. So was you. Gundam, something awful's happened! Don't tell me, do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you, if you want to pass, you must defeat me first. What happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's more than trouble. There's a body! Huh? Did you hear me? There's a body! A body! Could it be? Do you intend to spread the lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Hold on. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is! Isn't it isn't obvious! <coughs> Chiaki, have you seen Nagito's condition? Yes, this, is fiend, this fiend has just the same symptoms as, as him. But there's no way we should check it out. Because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? A killing? If that's true, we need to check it out. Well, if that is the case, I will not stop you. Leave this place to me, and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> no need to worry, I will catch up with you easily. Um, that sounded like famous last words. Jackie, can you go? Yep. Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Yes, it is. Right the fuck now. Go, go, go. <coughs> oh, shit. Hajime! Uh, Hajime! Mikan, why are you here? Uh, Perfect timing. Please help us, Hajime. Help us? Ah, uh, Hajime, something, someone's coming from over there. Hajime and Jackie, what are you guys doing over here? Fuyuko, why are you here too? No Isn't sir. it obvious? I'm looking for Ibuki. Looking for Ibuki? Uh, I was planning to rest in the on-call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did. And Ibuki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? So what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. <laughs> huh? Hurry when? To the music venue! Don't ask, just follow! Music venue? Ibuki is going to be there? Oh no! Oh shit! Ibuki! <coughs> We're coming, I swear! <coughs> My wound hasn't completely healed yet! Don't make me run so much! <coughs> hey. Is Ibuki inside there? The only way to know is go inside and confirm. But that hanged body is really Ibuki. Let's go. I clenched my teeth and reached my hand towards the door. Huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? 
that doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago. Then why don't we try from another entrance? Nope. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? I don't understand it myself, but it all won't open. The only thing we can do is force a way through. <coughs> hmm, I wonder if that's possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know. It's it doesn't matter if you do it or not. We have to. Damn Let's right. go. We'll all charge at the, the same time. Ready? Set. Ikazo! That's B equal signal. We change up into the door. Full terror. Bang it. Oh, the door moved. Maybe it'll open easily after. Yep. Yeah, even if with two girls here. Alright, one more time. That B equal signal. We charge into the door one more time. It was like a live performance had just ended. The moment it sounds before the silence, the audience breaks in, in the, out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <coughs> huh? What? Wait, what? Why is it? Why is it do- What? No! He oak! Good. Okay, doesn't change the fact that I hated her. I mean, shit, no, Hyoko, why? I didn't like you anyway. <coughs> there wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body, a suspended body belonging to Hyoko. Trapped by the sea ocean scent. Chapter 3. Deadly Life. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Two body discovery announcements in a row. That means... The hanged body with the hemp bag on its head. And Kyoko's suspended body. Both these bodies have been discovered at the same time. What? Yoko went. Who the hell is that other one wearing the hemp bag? <coughs> Could it be two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Yoko's body. I only saw the hanged body over there. Not even ten minutes passed, but still, why? <coughs> impossible, impossible, impossible. It's impossible killing to have another island. Shut the hell up! This is just... For now, we should lower the person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes. Oh. But what about preserving the scene of the crime? Yes. Who the fuck cares about that? Um. There's a control panel for the baton lighting on the wind stage. You can lower the body with that. That one. <coughs> Yoko, Fuyuhiko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed the hot the button on the control panel. With the motorized sound like the growl, uh, it was off a starving beast, the baton lightly slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all uh, worked together to lower the body. Now I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? Oh, Lord. Even though I expected I didn't want to con confront it that easily. Okay, for that reality. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. I know obviously there's an investigation coming up, um, but we'll just extend it because I have to go. Because I have some stuff I have to do. So I'm sorry we're gonna have to cut it off short today. In the next episode, we'll continue it on and we'll see how it goes. Or maybe next time I record it, uh, I'll take the uh, little bit that's before the glass trial and connect it to here. So thank you guys for watching. It's either I see you in the next episode or I see you after I do another outro for the next part that I flew to this part. Okay, bye. Okay, it's well.